In this video, I'll explain how to deal with uh, serial queues. So previously we have seen how to work with the concurrent queues and we have access the global queue and main queue. We have created our own queue. Let's create our own queue again and uh, execute the queue serially. Let's take three or more threads and let's execute. So for that, uh, let me create a queue. You might have remember last time we have used uh, uh, dispatch, dispatch, create dispatch QT and uh, uh, okay so let it be serial queue serial queue equal to dispatch queue create and uh, the name will be uh, let it be my queue my queue and uh, this one will be a dispatch queue serial now we created a serial queue let's perform the task serially so for that dispatch async and our queue name is serial queue and uh, let's perform the task Let's uh, perform the task. So here, let's uh, execute a NS log statement. That's very simple and quick. Uh, I'll write this is my first block. This is my FRIST first block. Sorry. And uh, let me copy this simply and let me copy. Let me create two, three, four. I have just created four blocks now. And uh, let's uh, rename the statements to second block and this one third block. And the first block and let's run uh, the application and we will see this threads will guarantee us that uh, their uh, first uh, I mean the first thread will execute for us the second the next the third the fourth so we have the NS log statement here we can check it uh, easily so let me clear everything and let me just stop the application we have tested before. Uh, let me run the application now. So I am performing this task. I mean, I'm, I'm creating the queue and uh, 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 I'm trying to write to the threads. Here I have created four threads uh, for this queue. And I am doing all these things inside get message. This delegate method is nothing but uh, uh, while it type on the pass value, that method will be accessed. So we have seen it before, but let me show it one more time and let me click on pass value. So control came here. That's right. Let me move the control, and uh, you can see here. Uh, let me remove everything okay fine so you can see it. this is my this is my first block this is my second block this is my third block and this is my fourth block so any number of time you execute this application the order will be remain same so let's do it one more time you can see this is my first block second third and fourth let's do it again first second third and fourth let me do it uh, one more time for the last time this is my first second third and fourth so this is how uh, you can create the serial block 
and you can execute uh, the application as for your requirement here uh, I am putting only one uh, statement just for demonstration you can uh, you can put your own uh, code here as for your requirements so I hope you understand how to create a serial block and uh, I believe you enjoyed this video if you do please uh, do like and subscribe this video and if there is any query or concern please uh, comment in this video so that we can discuss more on this thank you so much for watching and you have a great day bye bye